Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for season 2, episode 10, the season 2 finale for Death to Me. This time the title of the episode is, Where Do We Go From Here? And we are here, yes, we are back and we are ready to watch the final episode of season 2 and to get ready for the final season, season 3. I am excited, I am happy, I, I cannot wait to watch this episode and to watch season three as well. I gotta say that. Uh, I'm excited. I'm really, really excited for uh, this episode and what it holds and what it will mean. Like, they have to kind of close up, not necessarily close up everything that has happened from the end of season one to this point. But they also, you know, they don't have to close it. They, ha they, they could leave some things, you know, there. But they have to project what season three and the final season will be about. So this is a very important episode, guys. So I'm ready. I am ready for this. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. I don't know if you guys are on Patreon. If you're watching this on Patreon, that's the reason why I'm wearing the same fucking shirt for the last six episodes. It's because I'm doing a binge today. I have been able to watch all six remaining episodes of the season uh, between oh, today. I, I, I watched two episodes yesterday and, and six episodes today. So that's why I'm wearing the same fucking shirt in every single fucking episode. <laughs> uh, I haven't recorded on different days. It's the same day for me. So we're going to watch this episode. We're also going to thank uh, Ivan for sponsoring this uh, show. Thank you so much. I hope you are enjoying my reactions. I hope you continue enjoying them and continue supporting for more uh, reactions. You know, eh, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so we are doing this episode. Previous episode, it ended with my girl, Jen, going to the detective's home rather than the police station, the detective's home, to confess because she has something to confess. So we'll see what will happen on this episode. Um, I'm excited and I hope you guys are excited as well. Thumbs up, hearts, whatever way you can support it, do it. And I cannot wait anymore. Let's just begin with season two, episode 10, the season two finale for Dead to Me. Here we go. <laughs> You, you okay? Sorry, this isn't professional. Well, you're no, not. No, it's, it's fine. You're you're fine. It's, 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 what uh... is happening? Why are you crying? Did she die? Did Flo die? I don't want to get into it. Okay. Michelle left. Oh. Oh. She moved out. Oh. Wow. I'm so sorry. Oh. Bad timing on my part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess I maybe was just holding out the hope that we would get back together. You think I like being the person people are afraid of? Oh, let's not invite her to game night. She'll arrest us all for smoking pot. Oh, that's not even <laughs> illegal anymore. It was a bad example, but it's really hard to turn it off when you're dealing with criminals all day. Yeah, true. Right. I, love, I love how people are so comfortable telling shit to Jen when Jen doesn't give a shit about that. She is the last person that you should ask, like, you should have this type of rants because she doesn't care. <laughs> but yet, people do. <laughs> okay. I love her curls, by the way. Okay. How? What did you want to say? I killed Steve Wood. Oh, Jesus, Joseph Christ. <laughs> I don't know you did what? You are the best friend I've ever known. The best Aww. person I've ever known. You're a better mother to Charlie and Henry than I could ever be. I know that they may not be the kids you dreamed of, but Aww. I'm hoping you'll find it in your enormous heart to take care of them and be their legal guardian. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry I lied to you. I'm sorry I betrayed you. I'm sorry I couldn't forgive you sooner for Ted. But no matter what you think, you've paid the price. Now I need to do the same. Shit. What are we gonna do? I mean, of course she's gonna take this care of the right. kids. Why did he show up at your house in the first place? He was looking for Judy. Well, that adds up, adds up because 
of the messages. Where's Charlie? Mom coming down? Uh -huh. um, she's not here. Where is she? She's probably uh -huh. going for a run. Yeah, she probably did. Uh -huh. she's, <laughs> she's just squeezing them. There you go. Well, you better dig in. Get all up in there while they're still hot. What are you doing? Judy! Hey, Karen! Hey, Karen! Hey, Karen! Hey, Karen! Hey, Karen! Not sure if you heard, but, uh, what can I <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. I'm sorry yeah. about that. Yeah. I'm working on my revenge bod before I hit the dating apps. Okay. You look great. Oh, thanks. Sure. Hey, uh, do you ever want to run, buddy? Like, we can get a little Google Cal- Okay. Okay. No worries. You got your own flow going. I told you. <laughs> you Thank you, Karen. It was fun catching up. I, I, I know he's around here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> I, oh, wait, is that? No. Come on, we've been at this long enough. We're going back to the car before our bodies are never found. Oh, Perez, wait. Oh, shit, so he's, she's not gonna believe her. Oh, hey. Where's my mom? I know she didn't come home last night. Charlie had nothing to do with this, okay? What about Judy Howe? She has something to do with that? No. I mean, I'm assuming she's the one who told you we had the picture of Charlie. She blackmailed you to say that you did it alone? No. She writes another check? What? No, no, no. I mean, Judy's broke, and, and and she would never. She, she's the fucking angel on earth. I did this alone. Judy is completely innocent. So she doesn't remember where she buried the body. <laughs> Great. So much for a confession. Hey. Hey. Hi. I have some information on the Steve Wood case. You know, the tip line's anonymous. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> I listened to that recorder thing to see if it was anything. Play it somewhere private, where the chief won't be able to hear himself. Okay. Okay. Because the chief is involved. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, indeed. Oh, shit. <laughs> you said he was threatening you. You said you asked him to leave. He has a history of abusive behavior. That'll carry weight in a courtroom. <laughs> yeah. Well, Steve's family has a lot of connections around town. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm pretty confident that nobody's going to take pity on the angry woman who attacked him. You don't know that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My kids are going to lose their mom. Shit. But I know how it fucking destroyed me when I lost mine. I lost my mom when I was young, too. Oh. Are we connecting? She, she's sick. She was murdered. Oh, God. Oh, my God. She was trying to protect me from my stepfather. Oh. She sounds like a good mom. She was. I miss her every day. Me too. Okay, but like, but like, there is some common ground, I feel. Reception's back. Oh, okay. Um, so, but, but, how we got so? him. Ooh! But you're gonna go home. The fuck? Huh? And we are never gonna talk about what we didn't find out here ever again. What? What? Never here. So go home to your kids. Tell them oh. you love them. Fuck. Because someday they're gonna miss hearing it. Oh fuck. <gasps> and, and also because they got him because Judy saved you right now. Well, technically they did not find the body, so there is no reason for her to arrest her. Though everything do does make sense, but the thing is, if she confesses, there will be like a wide search because she doesn't even remember where the fuck she buried the bo the body, you know. But okay, okay. I just want you to know that no matter what happens, you guys are gonna be okay. Okay. I think Charlie's okay. thinking that someone killed okay. his mom. Your mom is high. Right there! Coming through the door right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh okay. It's not really the 
greeting I was expecting. Are you okay? Oh. I am. Are you? Yeah. I couldn't find him, so. Well, I carved a heart in the tree right where oh. he was, so we could find him. Well, that would have been useful to know two hours ago. Well, I didn't know you were going there. I thought you were going to prison. Well, we did saw the tree with the with the heart. I was gonna say I did saw the the, the heart. Well, that's where I fucking should be. Judy, I'm so sorry that I lied to you and let you blame yourself. It's a fucking horrible thing to do. It is. It is, yeah. You didn't deserve that. I didn't. I'm glad that you 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 know that. And if I were you, I would get up right now and walk away and never fucking talk to me again. She's not you. You need to forgive yourself. Ew. Yeah, I know. It's gross. <laughs> but I feel like you've been given a second chance. Well, we both have. Yeah. Yeah. True. I mean, I'm sure there's stuff that I have to work on, too. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. That was a quick response. <laughs> I'm open. I know it's early, but can we start drinking? Do I have to start saying no yet? <laughs> start tomorrow. Oh, good. I thought that was a test. <laughs> yes. Oh, Judy. Oh, my God. I don't know how you two were able to find each other. Honestly. I love them so much. I love you, too. I love them so much. Their friendship is fucked up. But life is fucked up. When her body couldn't fight me, I was mad at her because she couldn't. Well, I think I've been mad at myself for that ever since. That's rough. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you decided to come back, Jen. Yeah, you really need this. Me too. Yeah, you really do need this group. And you can see all the anger, where it comes from, you know? You were a tough baby. You'd never slept. You were always crying. Just really needy. I was just a kid myself. I, I couldn't handle it. That's why I started using. What? A baby can't make you a drug addict. Of course not. That's not what I'm saying. It seems like that's what you're still saying. still really sensitive, huh? Yeah, I still have feelings. I mean, you've yeah. always had a good heart. You haven't changed. Shit. Daisy? Daisy, oh where my you going, god. Girl? Oh, hey. Daisy, don't fight the body. Oh. Hey, did you find something? I think you so. Digging for bone? <gasps> don't say that. Oh, don't my god. Daisy, what are you digging for? <laughs> did you listen to the recordings? I had liberty to discuss that. Of course, but did you hear how Ed Hastings' voice? Miss Hale. Sorry. <laughs> gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Miss Hale. Suffice it to say, Hastings will no longer be chief of police. Okay. Is he going to jail? No. Hmm. He's going to federal prison. <gasps> along with a few of his Greek friends. Oh! Wow, wow, wow. Look at us. <laughs> no, not look at us. We're together to take down the man. I just wanted to say that I think you're a really special person. I sincerely hope I never see you again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some people are hard to make friends. <laughs> but beautiful drawings, you know, and the girl without a heart, you know. I don't think I understand. I'm buying you out. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, that's yeah. That's cool. yeah. <laughs> uh, this should cover what you gave us for the down payment on the house, plus interest. Are you trying to buy me out of your house or out of your family, Jennifer? The house, Lorna, okay? Just chill out, please. <laughs> you are the boy's only grandmother. And I am. Oh, here we go. You can do it. <laughs> grateful for that. <laughs> Okay, now you're weirding me out. Yeah, <laughs> you're weirding us I don't all out. Resent you anymore, Lorna. It is 
exhausting. Are you about to kill yourself? What's <laughs> Don't, Don't say, say that. that. She's fine. You're fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm glad that she asked. Just please promise me that you will take care of Mrs. Wood. <laughs> Hard to believe this won't be our home anymore. I always thought I'd die here. I mean, there's a still oh, time. <laughs> I forgot to mention, your lovely realtor friend was asking after you. She was? Mm -hmm. You should call on her while you're still in town. We're about to find out something. Hello? What? They did? They found the body. What the fuck are you gonna do now? What are you doing? I gotta learn to hide shit better. Ah, weed. Oh. More than words. Nope. More than words. Nope. I like the big box. Okay, pay attention. Can we please stop? You stop. Stop! What? Oh! Oh, shit! It's a stop sign! Oh my god. It's a stop yeah. sign. Look what I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's not get carried away. It's just a stop sign. Well, actually, I will get carried away if I. <laughs> Fuck. Jen. 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 Who's there? <gasps> what? <gasps> Okay, guys, so that was the end of Season 2, Episode 10, the Season 2 finale for Dead to Me. So, we might have bought ourselves a bit of time. A bit of time um, with everything. And we, and when I say we, I mean Jen and Judy, might end up as the victims in all, the, all of this. Now, I don't know what detective press felt. I think that the lack of body was her main motivation to say to her, look, you killed an asshole that was at your home, that was threatening you, that was saying shit about you and like triggering you. And at that moment, you could well be scared for your life and for your kid's life. And the thing is that she has been in Charlie and Henry's position. His, her mom died uh, because her stepfather killed her and her mom was trying to protect her and she was murdered. So I think she finds this level of sympathy, not necessarily for Jen, my, a part of it because she understands uh, that feeling of a mother trying to protect their children but more so she feels identified with the kids you know that wouldn't get an, an, an I love you wouldn't get you know Christmas and Thanksgivings and more moments with their mom right so I feel that it's very uh um it's very sweet yet a little bit of like we impart justice in whatever we want type of thing but there are bigger fisher fishes to catch than Jen and Judy Hale right Jen Harden and Ju Judy Hale so Thing is, 
that um she confesses everything she didn't went to the the cop to the police station she went to her home they had a, this whole thing michelle apparently moved out you know and they were able to talk i don't know why people talk to jen when jen is the last person who wants to know about anyone's business <laughs> she's the last person but she you know she has a, a good like face of like I'm listening to you. Don't give a damn, but I'm listening to you, you know? And people open up to her for whatever fucking reason. They do, you know? So, uh, they did, she did. And in that moment, in those moments, hours, you know, they kind of do bond. And the woman is like, look, after receiving the message, we got him, meaning the big fish. He, she's like, I don't have a body. We never talked about this. I don't know about you. We never were. We were. We were never here. But now things are getting complicated a bit in that regard, because the person that found the body, the dog that found the body, and the person that was with the dog, did saw Jen and Anna there going around. So, if she comes to testify. She will say, yeah, there were two random people. Now, they could be very much well doing the same thing she was doing and just walking in the woods, which is kind of weird because it's America and, like, a lot of, like, scary stories and, like, serial killers hide in the woods. So I don't know why would you be, like, going around the woods on your own. But call me crazy. <laughs> but it's, I don't know thing is that that might link them to the place, you know? And the thing is that now that, that, that Detective Perez helped her, now she's also an accessory to, mur to murder, right? Same way uh, uh, Judy is. Um, so, they, uh, uh, what's his name? Ben, right, receives a call, which I think we know what the call is, and decides to, you know, because he is an alcoholic, decides to pick up a bottle and starts drinking and starts driving. Next thing you know, he's hitting no other, because apparently in Laguna Beach, there are around 10 citizens, <laughs> There's Judy, Jen, Charlie, Henry, um, Judy, Jen, Charlie, Henry, Michelle, Flo, uh, Anna, Nick, Ben, and Steve. That's it. Ten people to 15 at most. And, you know, in the stop sign that, 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 you know, um, that Jen fought so hard during the season and gave a beautiful speech also as well when she was kind of rejecting the rejection. They had that. They celebrated for a moment. They stopped, right? Apparently, when they when she was asking for that, they said, oh, it, it will just increase the... You don't know that, right? You don't know that. Is this proving her wrong? No. Why? Because she stopped. The other guy, if he was not, if he was sober, then this accident wouldn't have happened. This accident happened because he was drunk, you know, and driving. And now he hit her and um, he hit her and ran away because apparently that's a twin thing, you know, they hit people and then they run away. I don't know, man. It, it, you know what it might be? The entitlement, I feel. Because they have so much money that at the end of the day, though he had a different life and he's different from Steve, the entitlement, I feel like, is the same. The sense of, like, I can get away with things because I have friends, because I have money, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. So, anyways. Thing is that um, 
he hit her. Apparently, uh, well, both of them are alive, thankfully, but they are hurt, right? Because I'm going to probably Jen a little bit more hurt because it was on her side. The hit was more on her side than on, 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 uh, Judy. But they are still hurt, right? So we'll see what happens there. At least we know that both of them are alive and that the twins like to hit and run. Anyway, so we also have Charlie. Charlie, like this, on this episode, you know, uh, Judy, I mean, Jen left a few letters. Now, in that letter also said something about Ted and Judy's involvement in what happened to Ted. Now, Charlie reading that is not going to be a good thing, you know? And that's going to complicate shit. And now we know that, um, what's, uh, the Judy, the previous episode, we know that Judy actually was, uh, testified against her mom during the trial whatever trial she was on for neglecting a child or whatever you know um and she told the truth she says and the mom i feel like she still has resentment for her and i in like the fact that she's like hey, you were too much of a baby you know and that's what when i started using drugs and like kind of blaming her problem onto her which tells you that she's not really she has not changed that much you know, we don't know her that well to know, but apparently she's the same person that Judy remembers to be, you know. So, um, yeah, so that happens. Um, but now Judy was able to see that her mom was trying to use her. And so for the first time, uh, to the first person maybe that has been abusive to her, and has always been kind of like she needed that that love from her mom and that's why she kept searching it elsewhere and that's why the little girls without the heart mean um um you know she finally i think was able to move from that and start a new chapter in her life you know a more honest chapter maybe or a more loving chapter for herself, you know? Um, now, what do I think about this episode? It was incredible. Like, this entire season. Like, season one was chef kiss. This one is like, how many more kisses can I, you know? It was incredible. Incredible. The dynamic between the actresses. <gasps> fucking fantastic i can't believe it i can't like say how much i love them because i do um and yeah what a fucking incredible show honestly but a lot of shit like i just love how things just get complicated and more complicated and more people get involved and more you know but oh but what happened with judy and her testifying against her mom do you think that is going to mirror Charlie testifying against his own mom? Do you think? Because, like, he might find out that Judy has something to do with the death of his dad. Will he be able to forgive and to see the, the entire picture of, like, why his mom was able to be friends with her even though she knew? Because at the end of the day, it was Steve who didn't allow her to go back and 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 uh and help him now steve said that he jumped into the car that could also be true as well but at the end of the day they they did not help him you know and that idea came from steve not from judy you know so you have that um but anyways this was a great episode like i said Great episode. They Oh, and I was not expecting. How is it that the cops, like, saw the paintings and were not, like, trying to find something within? 
It was filled with money. Like, there was a lot of money there, you know? Um, enough money for... Uh, well, for a lot of shit, actually. A lot of money for... Uh, for Jen to buy Lorna out of the house deed thing and for them to buy a car for Charlie and probably th there is still a little bit more there, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, the relationship between them kind of by this end of, by, by this final episode of the season is kind of feeling a little bit more healthy and I like that. Because I do believe that they love each other. I do believe that they were meant to know each other. Sadly, under these circumstances. But they are going to be always going to be significant to one another. You know, regardless of whether if it's a ship or not. That really doesn't matter at this point. It's really about their friendship. As fucked up as it is, you know. But I really do think that. They needed each other. Of course, you know, Jen needs to work on herself, on her anger, you know, and not to lash out onto people the way she does and not to hurt people the way she does. Um, and Judy needs to stop, you know, start, you know, be stronger in the sense of, like, not letting shit like what Jen and what Steve and what her mom tell her to affect her and to not let them tell her things like that, you know, to put a stop to it um, and to say no, which is fucking incredible and like fucking, not fucking incredible, not fucking difficult to do. Trust me, I am one of those people that I, 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 I hate saying no to people. I hate it. I, it's just like, it, it annoys me. It's just something that I, I'm like, oh my God. So maybe Judy and I will work through <laughs> this. Um, so yeah, great episode, great season. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Because, I mean, we have one more season, 10 episodes, 10 more episodes to go. And that will be the end of this incredible series that I recommend everyone to watch. Uh, I'm telling my mom. I, I'm, you know what is a bad thing, though? I can't tell my mom the name of, like, I'm telling her, okay, as soon as you finish, because she's watching something, as soon as, as you finish, you're going to watch this show. But I don't want her to watch it on her own, because my mom, it's a, she's, I don't know how she does this. My mom likes to watch the end of it to see if she's going to like the entire sh shit. You know, she's not the type of person, like, I, when I watch a, sh a show... A series like I have to watch every single episode every single minute of it you know what I mean my mom doesn't my mom watches episode one and then she wants to go to episode uh 12 of the series and like or whatever or for instance if it wasn't series, she would want to watch the first couple of episode and then of season one and then the couple of last episodes of season two and then go on and watch like six episodes out of all the thing and then she will understand everything and that's it she knew she knows the story and I'm like, what is the fucking point of that? So if I tell my mom right now to watch it, she's going to beat me to it. And then, she, because this is what she does, then she's going to come out and she's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I know a few things. And like, mm, do you think someone is going to die? Because someone will die. And she spoils shit for me, even though I have explained to her what, a, what an, a spoiler is and how you're not supposed to do and that I hate it. And that it just, like, it, I hate spoilers. You know, when there are shows that her and I watch or, like, like doc series, whatever. Sometimes she gets ahead. Because, like, for instance, I'm working here. I'm doing my reactions and she's out there. She's watching the show. She's going to come out and she's going to be like, oh, guess who died? <laughs> or something like that. She's like that, you know. So I'm not telling her about the show or not telling her the title of the show until... I'm finished so she can proceed and like watch on her own and I can fill in the gaps for her because for some reason the woman can't just sit through and watch 30 episodes not necessarily on the same day 
Because she can watch it on any time. But no. She, uh, she hates that. She's watching the show right now. I think it's a telenovela on Netflix. And it has 60 episodes. And she's like, oh my god, I can do it. 60 episodes. Just tell me what happened. I want to read the little, like, this, the, the su summary of, of, of every episode. And then I will jump ahead. And I'm like, but mom, what's the necessity? It's not like you have any other place to go or are watching some other thing. Just watch it. You know? what What is the point of this? You know? Why are you doing that? You don't need to finish it in a week. You can keep this show for a couple of weeks, for a month, and just enjoy it in its entirety. You know? Not for her. That's that's something that she would not do. <laughs> so I'm not telling her the name of this show until I'm sure that she's gonna watch every single episode or that I know every single episode and she can't spoil sh shit for me. Anyways, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. Thumbs up. Hearts if you're on Patreon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everything. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Dead to Me. That's it. Bye, guys.